My name is Maureen Ramawe. I'm one of the drivers for Tuan University of Technology. What just happened now is the nine seconds um, test that we need to do in case there's an emergency. The scrutinizer needs to see that you are able to exit the car in nine seconds. So you will be strapped in full armor as if you would be driving and then they will time you and you need to come out as quickly as possible out of the car. So it's just a, a precaution in case there's an emergency. They need to see that all drivers are able to come out of the car within that nine seconds. Uh, eventually we are here at um, SWAT Corps. We are very glad that we made it here. Uh, we just passed our first stage of scrutineering, which means a lot to the team. It means mechanically the car is safe and electrically the car is safe. We still have to do uh, testing of the brakes on, on the racetrack later today and the handling. Um, but it was quite a big accomplishment for us to be able to get up to this point. The team worked very hard. Um, we've got a very nice team, uh, putting a lot of effort, a lot of late nights or even no sleep at all some nights. Uh, the race starts tomorrow at CSIR in Pretoria. Um, the race is more or less 250 kilometers per day uh, for a minimum. And we end up in Cape Town. We've got eight days. We do have the option to do additional loops to increase the kilometers per day. Um, and we need to have at least 1,000 kilometers to be able to qualify and to finish the race. Uh, we've got some very good competition. Um, but I think what we've already accomplished is a big thing for us. The design of the car and the building and the manufacturing up to this stage. So we are very proud. And uh, I think it's, it's, a, it's a good progression forward if we compare to previous years. And some of the other tests that we will be doing is the, the dynamic test where they will check the, the braking so all the drivers will have to go into the car, drive a certain speed and then brake within a certain distance. So they will also check also that the car can con travel for 60 kilometers per hour because we will be driving on the highway so if we can't reach 60 then we will automatically be disqualified. So those are the two tests that we call the dynamic test. The solar car challenge is a very important component of our faculty of engineering and the built environment, specifically for our departments, um, mechanical engineering and electrical engineering, and then our technology station electronics, the Friends of Africa Technical Institute, which most of the team members come from that environment, whether they're staff members, technicians, um, students and industry partners. Um, it's important for us in terms of the, some of the research that we want to get out of it, um, the technical experience for our uh, students um, and if you look at the technical knowledge they gain on this race, how it helped them in the classroom, not just the students but also the recruiting staff that's involved in this race. I work at the electrical department. Um, I've been working there for a couple of years now and uh, my first involvement in the solar car project was in 2012. Um, there we got involved uh, with the Welsh team and uh, we basically started uh, working with them and uh, realized that it's a lot more work <laughs> than, uh, than you'd expect. Um, we had a lot of sleepless nights and uh, we had great fun as well um, during the race in 2012 uh, we had a lot of complications because the car wasn't finished um, we basically finished the car on the race um, and that prepared us for this race uh, we learned a lot 
Um, this time around uh, we came really prepared. Um, the vehicles and sponsors and uh, everything we have is, is, is very nice, very decent. Uh, our car design is good. I basically did most of the construction, the, the soldering, the aging of the PCBs and the cutting of the boards. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm learning a lot of things and um, I'm uh, using uh, instruments I've never used before, so it's, it's fun for me. It's, it's a nice experience. I'm liking it. Started off well this morning with uh, average speed of approximately 75 k's an hour. We about 85 k's out of Pretoria this far. We discovered that only half of our array is charging. There's a slight electrical problem with the charging that will fix for us and get us back on the road quickly. Hopefully. Uh, I'm France and we drove all the way from Winburg now and now we stopped here, completed one loop and uh, unfortunately the sun decided to move all well, the crowds are in the way and now we're sitting and charging a bit and then we can go again. I drove from Winburg, I drove the loop today. The loop's distance was 67 kilometers. Uh, the top speed I reached was 95. And my average speed was more or less 40 around about there to complete the loop. Uh, so far the race went well, some little problems, but we're learning out of the, the whole race so far. Things are looking good so far, but except the weather, but hopefully tomorrow is full sunshine and hopefully if the so sunshine is coming out tomorrow we will do all better and better and better and I think um, that's a big problem at this stage. The car has been handling quite well. The windy situations with the trucks passing is a bit tricky to handle, especially at the high speeds. The truck cuts off the wind and gives it back to you and the car is quite stable on the road with the weight of the car. The handling is 100% the mechanical reliability this far we have a lot of confidence in. So, yeah. We have been focusing on uh, reaching out to communities and uh, each town we visit there is a lot of small kids in schools. Um, every control stops at a school so that uh, gives uh, a lot of students and a lot of uh, school kids exposure to um, the kind of technology that they'll be exposed to at uh, universities um, overall. 
if you get involved uh, in the TUT projects, you'll uh, probably at one point in your life uh, meet the solar team and uh, if you're good enough, you'll uh, definitely get involved in the project. Um, 2014 is our second year that we participate in the Solar Car Challenge. We've improved tremendously from 2012 and uh, we are proud of the team, the achievements, but without the sponsors, this would not have been possible. If you look at the contribution from the sponsors, not just on the financial side, but also supporting us um, in kind, emotionally, through the race, because it's quite tough and this team deserves a lot of respect. If you look at the long hours they put in under very difficult conditions, but if you look at the stats, they did well. As we said, it's important to have funders, it's important to have staff members that participate in this um, solar car challenge project. But what we sometimes tend to forget is also the management back at home that support us. They follow us on Twitter, they follow us on Facebook, and they give us phone calls to make sure that the team spirit stays high. And so we also need to appreciate their support um, back in Pretoria, although we're on the road to Cape Town.